This week on The Wire. Prices solid in August, expat return lift sales, and teachers and nurses access first home buyer scheme. G'day guys. My name's Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment, and more. Now please like, comment, and share this video, and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. So our top story for this week, prices solid in August. So price data for August published, published this week by CoreLogic demonstrates that housing markets remain solid across Australia. The CoreLogic figures for August show that house prices dropped in only two of the eight capital cities. Prices rose in Canberra, Hobart and Darwin and remained unchanged in Brisbane, Adelaide and Perth. House prices also rose during August in the regional areas of New South Wales, Queensland and Tasmania. Sydney and Melbourne were the only capital cities to record decreases in their house prices during the month. Overall, house prices nationally fell 0.4%, dragged down by the negative results in the two biggest cities. But there was a small increase during August in regional areas. In the year to date, house prices remain about 1% higher than at the start of 2020, helped by a 2.3% increase in regional Australia. House prices remain higher than at the start of the year in Sydney, Brisbane, Adelaide, Canberra, Hobart and Darwin, as well as in the regional areas of New South Wales, Victoria, Queensland, South Australia and Tasmania. Unit prices are up about 1% nationally in the year to date with a 2.1% uh, rise in regional Australia. Now for our next story, expat return lift sales. So expats living abroad are buying up Australian properties, heartened by the nation's low rate of COVID-19 cases and political stability. And that says real estate agents across the country. International searches for buying property on realestate.com.au in July were up 22% compared to the same time in 2019. Aussies based in the United Kingdom, Singapore, Hong Kong and the United States are leading the inquiries on beachside and hinterland real estate, mostly across the eastern states. Now Gold Coast agent Katrina Walsh says she has been fielding numerous calls from expats looking for anything ocean or green on the Gold Coast. Realestate.com.au Chief Economist Nerida Connersby says there is strong anecdotal evidence many expats are re-evaluating their circumstances due to the pandemic and the low Australian dollar and low interest rates provide an attractive value proposition. The Gold and Sunshine Coast are popular targets in Queensland, while beachside suburbs of Sydney are also on the hit list. In Melbourne, the CBD and South Yarra are Melbourne's most searched suburbs by offshore buyers. Now guys, for our final story of the week, teachers and nurses accessed home, uh, first home buyers scheme. So first time buyers across a range of age and income spectrums, including key workers like teachers and nurses, accessed the first home loan deposit scheme during the first six months of 2020. One in eight first home buyers availed of the scheme with New South Wales taking the largest share of the guarantees according to the National Housing Finance and Investment Corporation report. Out of the 10,000 scheme allocations, 2,263 went to New South Wales residents, 1,845 to Queenslanders and 1,617 to Victorians. Demand was lower in WA and South Australia due to long-standing uh, first home buyer support, the report says. Now, the National Housing Finance and Investment Corporation Chief Executive Nathan Dalbon says demand for the scheme in the first six months of June 30 continued despite the onset of the pandemic. Major cities attracted nearly 62% of buyers, while 38 opted for regional areas. The majority who bought in capital cities purchased in areas up to 32 kilometres away from the CBD, with fewer than a quarter buying within 15 kilometres. Well guys, that's it from me this week. Now, please don't forget to like, comment and share this video, or follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. Have a great week, and remember guys, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference, and that's action. Thanks a lot, bye for now.